Hello. Did someone require Zompocalypse survival services? Ha! <laughs> ah, good. Finally, some life out there. Ah, you're not much to look at, but I'll take a chance on you. Uh, say, you seen another kid out there? Another kid? I'll have you know I'm a reasonably responsible adult. Damn it. Must have thought I was shooting at her and got spooked. Well, listen, if I get the gate, can you search the front? Y you find that girl, you bring her around back, and we'll straighten this thing out. Just watch out for the other trespassers. They might. <laughs> hey, get out of there, you scourge of a Satan! Okay, I'll bite. But um, thank you, thank you. No, really, you are too kind. <laughs> hey, stop that! Yeah, now, this place is a bear pit. <laughs> oh, Jay, always late to the party. You kid. Hey, find that girl. Hey, nah, I was too slow. Son of a bitch. Well, I say it's about time we send these party crashers back to hell. <laughs> this is for the girl, you mealy mouth punks. <sighs> Some damn fine work, kid. <laughs> hey, get over here. I need to talk to you. It's a damn shame about that girl, but uh, I'm sure you did what you could. Curtis Sinclair's the name. Did a bit of acting in my time. <laughs> Ask your mother, kid. Pleasure to meet you in these dark times. No fucking way! Soylent Mauve is a classic. Uh, listen, uh, I need help. Uh, years of doing my own stunts means, well, the old hip won't survive this drop. I need to get my chairlift to get down, uh, but the power in the house is gone kaput. Yeah, the grid's tripped all over the neighborhood. Maybe the whole city. Check the connections down at the end of the yard. See if the problem's there. Now, if you can get things running, I can buzz you inside. Got speed, kid. I'm no electrician, but how hard can it be? Look at me, Mum. I'm a sparky, like Uncle Trevor. Kid, you did it. Hey, get your keister in here. We're not out of the woods yet.
to the wise, kid. If you're gonna fight these things with grenades, don't do it in your own home. <laughs> well, luckily, the lift rail looks dirty. Power it up, and I'll take my chances. Well, either my ears are playing tricks on me, or, or trouble's on its way. I'm, I'm gonna need you to clear the runway. Someone around here has stick fingers. I just know. <laughs> Great memories here. A lot of loving. And a lot of fighting. And a hell of a lot of noise complaints from the neighbors. <laughs> and to think I said they wouldn't catch me dead in that chairlift. <laughs> Someone up there must really like me if they sent you to save me, huh? <laughs> Not sure what I did to deserve it, though. <laughs> well, Mum was partial to a Sunday afternoon with Curtis Sinclair. God rest her soul. Listen, anything in this house you need, it's yours. It's the least I can offer you. We damn sure can't stay here, though. How's it looking out there? The joint residence is taking survivors. Emma was quite explicit. Bring me your poor, your rake-wielding maniacs. Well, I'll be damned. The neighbors were here all along. I ought to give them a piece of my mind for not checking in on me. Yeah, well, Mr. Steele's no longer with us. Us being the living. He's dead. Damn shame, the son of a bitch owed me money. Oh, well. I'll make my way over there after I say my goodbyes to this place. Yeah, you did good today, kid. Thanks again. I can chum you back to Emma's if you want. Mom. Here we are again. Emma's gonna be ecstatic. The entourage will follow, and we can all toddle our way to Santa Monica like a Von Trapp homage. Hello. Another plucky survivor.
Sorry to burst your bubble, but I have no idea who you are. Uh, doi! I'm Amanda Stiles! LA's top trending girl in the juicy flesh! But... Oh, fuck! You didn't see my video? Thought I'd upload it for sure this time! So, all these explosions and fun, you're filming it? Yep. Catching this shit show on camera. When my videos of flying zombie guts go viral, they'll be racing to send it to choppers to save our butts from L.A. Oh, man. Common Bel Air delusion. Great. That's just great. Right? Problem is, it's pretty hard to get good footage while killing corpses. Oh, shit. Idea. We collaborate. We lure suckers up here. You finish them off Amanda style. And I get crystal clear shots. Why not? I've done worse this week. Then let's fucking go! Blast some tunes and knock any loser that shows up off the motherfucking roof! Let them bodies hit the floor! And no swearing in the first minute. I'm already on two strikes. Here we go. Best foot forward, Jay. Armada, we are out here tanning, vibing, ready corpses. That couple red wall of this <laughs>
suggested fits scene yo we're done so get that sweet butt over here can I call you bestie I don't want to alarm you but that was awesome we are going to be so famous when this goes live yeah fame ain't my poison getting out of hell eh, though that's still plan a but no reason I can't raise my name value too not that either's happening without a stable internet connection. True. The city's in total quarantine. But there's room at Emma Jaunt's. Other survivors. Food. What? Bestie, I know you aren't suggesting we break up the team. We can roam this city, creating beautiful content together. We'll get, like, Nobel Peace Prizes for our life-saving documentaries. I'm not doing this for you again. You've got enough to make your big splash. Huh, okay, I do need to edit this. If we only get one video, it has to pop. But don't go streaming any gold behind my back. You know, you're like, you're good at this. You, you're good at, um, apocalypses. This. Yeah, I am. Finally found my calling. But I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm not. Roxy and me, staying out of trouble is like a full-time job, man. I've only ever been really good at one thing, and pff, I barely even do it anymore. Got some whiskey. <laughs> man. You guys inspired some of the worst fan art in history. Ouch. A and exactly. Like, what have we done lately? I gotta find that spark again, man. Get back in touch with the gods instead of just the whiskey. Oh, Farouk. Bless you. Farouk's our producer. He lives next door down a hill, like, totally obsessive about discographies. Collects every master tape and unreleased track you could imagine, including ours. Some of those had real promise. I wonder if... maybe sample them? Hey, I I'll be right back, man. Tell Roxy not to worry. Steady, you're a baked bean, not an apocalypsis in bean. I'm not? No. We both know I'm the player, the slayer, the soothsayer. You can use that if you want. I'll go get the tapes. Oh, kick ass! If Farouk's not home, just ask his boyfriend Dave to show you around. Tell them I sent you. Ricky, nobody will be home, even if they are, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Up and over. 
lovely. Hello, hapless neighbor. Well, this is a sorry to do. Done. You have a nap, mate. I'll let myself in. Got some whiskey master tapes and whatever other fancy swag I like the look of. <laughs> Jolly good. One priceless original. Been a busy beaver day. Second session tape. Every recording studio has its entourage. That'll do nicely, Madam Brisley. Before you ask, I do not bring pizza. Oh, hey. I don't remember calling a... Do we have an interview scheduled? No. We have a thank JJ for being a hero scheduled. Three session tapes from Farouk's place. Farouk is dead. Obviously. Farouk's? Oh, man. Dave's gonna be, like, heartbroken. Uh, no, he isn't. He's dead, too. Oh, sad note, man. Like, ballad-worthy. There was this one track we laid down and... Hey, wait. D did you say master tapes? I was just thinking about getting those back. How do you even get dressed in the morning? No, don't answer that. This is fucking awesome, man. I'm gonna listen to them right away. I... Oh, there's some gems on here, you know? Some real gems. I... I uh, think. Hey, thanks. You're like... A guardian angel of rock. Or a player, slayer, and soothsayer. Yeah? Those are lyrics right there. For a rock song, perhaps? About a lone, swaggering hero with excellent hair.
Hello. You're through to Jacob. I'll be your Zompocalypse help advisor for this call. Okay. That's clear you're alive. I have a friend who needs help. Any chance you could get to the Halpern Hotel, like, soon? That hotel ain't the holiday destination it once was. Who is this? I'm... Hold up. Ah. I'm Hannah. I'm hunkered down with my BCLA buddies in the rental we share in the Venice Canals, but I've lost contact with one of them. Rav, he's a med student. I don't do corpse retrieval. Although, if he's a walking corpse, I can put an end to that for you. You haven't seen the Bobcats in action. He's a survivor. And he's been making... unique weapons. He'll make it worth your while. Unique, eh? Okay. If Rav's alive, I'll find him. Thanks for calling the Zompocalypse helpline. Out. Okay, Rav. Hannah said you were here somewhere. Fucking piece of... Oh, hey! Hey! Up here! Balcony! Hey, Rav! Hannah called us on Pocalypse Helpline. You'd like some help? Yes! So Hannah got at least part of my message. I'm glad you're here. I was only halfway done. You'll be halfway done in a minute, old lad, if you don't follow me out of here. I don't need an escort. I need data. A paramedic friend told me her ambulance got requisitioned to transport barrels here. The soldier said it was stuff to fuck up the zombies. What kind of stuff? That's what I need to find out. There were scientists here. I found their workspace, but zombies found me and treed me up like a cat. I need to look at their notes, see if this weapon is something us Bobcats can use. Or something all of us can use. Okay, I'll have a nose around the ambulance. And we need to clear out these zombs. You know, this place has a DJ sound. Music. Loud music. Yes. Okay, uh, I'm good with tech. I'll make this work. Let me know when you're on your way back. Hey, Ran, there's a chunder ball out here, so I'll be a couple of minutes longer. Got it. I'm in a vent now on my way to the workroom. I powered up the DJ setup by the stage in the ballroom. It's ready when you are. Be with you in a jiffy. Caustic puke. It's like they're adapting their weapons to us as well. I give my second best pair. One of them on the dissecting. to disembowel to.
You're a lifesaver. Literally. I found their notes on Caustic X usage. Jolly good. Home for tea and cake. Caustic X works. More or less. But it shouldn't work as fast as they think it does. Up for some field work? If it involves stupendous violence, I guess the tea and cake could wait. Loving the attitude. Baller as hell, no cap. And yes, it does. I need you to use that solvent to kill zombies. You said they filled up the pool, and I'll observe from the top floor. And compose a heroic account of my delayed gratification? It's not science unless you write it down. Well-known fact. And it's not an heroic accomplishment without tea and cake. Remember that. Hey, Rav, I've assumed the position. I am good to go. Begin performing the science. <laughs> By that, you mean boot hamheads into the pool? If you wouldn't mind. Pleasure to watch. I checked back in with Hannah and everything's cool now. Thanks for your help. That's what the Zompocalypse helpline is for. Please give me five stars. Now I know it works, it should be simple to causticify a weapon for maximum melting instead of using acid. Until I do, though, here. To the victor go the toy. Ooh, I just got a naughty tingle in me dancing socks. I'll head back to the canals and apply what we found here. We're all in an arms race now, and we have to win it. Sore eyes. Pull up a seat. Hello, Mr. Sinclair. Mum says hi. It's much more relaxing here, eh? Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that the tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. Ha ha ha! New money just ain't got the style of the classics like you and me. Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. <laughs> and I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out. I could raise everyone's spirits. Or we could keep it to ourselves, eh? <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed, undead bastards slither back into their graves. So, I get the quality booze, bring it back, we drink said booze, whilst you show off your impressive weapon. No giggling in the back row. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. You ever held a gun before? 
killed anyone? Anything? Wine cellar. Start at the bottom and work. Voila, Uber Plonk. Get in. Mr. Sinclair, even during a zompocalypse, I'm reticent about burglary. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. <laughs> Lovely. Won't notice if a couple go missing.
this was my gap, would I keep hard killing single malt in the cellar? Sports room, bedside table, mouthwash bottle? Couldn't have just hit in it in the shed, like everyone else. Of course. Or she'll have the key. Baby steps. All done. Mr. Sinclair, your order is being processed. Usually, I only run errands for my mum. You're too good to me, kid. And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Pete. And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. But Mr. Sinclair, your hands are neither cold nor dead. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you, too. My mom is flipping angelic cartwheels right now. But what about you? Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister, Betty, on my hip. <laughs>
Hey, you got me the tapes, didn't you? You still don't remember my name, do you? Hey, thanks to you, I'm on my way back up, man. Those samples and old ideas are gonna be part of a new album, man. Big themes, big riffs, sex, death, undeath, badass lyrics. Well, I'm a little out of practice with the lyrics, I'm not gonna lie. Did you have a point you wanted to make, or are you just dreaming out loud? Screaming fans, screaming guitars. Oh, hey, I gotta go to my place and get Chopper. The Apocalypse needs a soundtrack, man, and Ricky Rex is gonna ride with the horsemen. Let's assume Chopper is a guitar, not something sordid. And let's say I could go get it for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, killer. Because I got this song brewing, and I gotta keep hold of it. Oh, you need to find Misha. Chopper's locked away upstairs at my place. You gotta be careful. Because cause this one time, when we didn't lock up, when the party finished, the whole upstairs was, like, empty. Totally cleaned out. And so, yeah, Misha, she had the key. Right. Misha. So many fucking names to remember. You think the end of civilization would remove the need for a contact list? But you best go around the back through the kitchen. Oh, and if the band are there and, you know, milking their encore, could you send them up to the big gig in the sky? I'll probably just kill them. No time for metaphysical logistics. Now, this is a rock legend's crib. Locked. Ah, oh, Misha. Ricky says she had the key. So, to lure her out. Welcome to the Gods and Whiskey Farewell Tour. Um, the janky remains of gods and whiskey. Ricky says hi. I belong to me. You know, there's something about staying to a beat. It actually helps. Just one way to split up, I guess. Creative differences. You're late, Misha. We had to start without you.
Sorry, Misha. You have been disbanded. One key. Lovely. The fabled upstairs. It's got to be bursting with loot. So, chopper. Surely an axe guitar, or a ukulele with attitude. chopper actually this is pretty sick you can smell it sexy sexy mojo <laughs> generally I'm a completionist but the gods and whiskey slaughter will have to stop a Ricky for now. Chopper! Killer! This is it, dude, Don. Oh, did you, uh, were the band... It was an escalator to heaven moment. That's... they would have wanted that. I'm gonna write them a song for the new album. Slam to the Slaughter. You've started a new album? Yeah. Check this out. One man and one woman and her pain in the ass daughter on a quest through the apocalypse to put a band together playing music so spine shakingly epic the zombies heads literally explode Jesse would make an awesome manager yeah yeah that works another new start hey you really helped me out oh I got this big sword I used on the Knights of the Sound Fable tour you want it if it ain't fake yeah gods and whiskey Second bud is here, next second no head, so no bud. Man. You guys aren't toe-to-toe -to -toe material. What you need are guns. Oh, we need are guns, a way to like defend ourselves. But hey, you know, you, you could do us a solid. Or I could do a poo later, after I've looted the police station out on the beach. The police station out on the beach? We heard gunshots the other night, so we went to the roof to check it out. Some gnarly Alamo tear shit, man. 
cops must hold up there because they were blasting Z's away, but then, you know, nothing, silence. We tried to radio, see if they could, like, share supplies, but we got dead air, so, you know, they're probably Z's now. I mean, we only tried 911, so maybe... Trent, you're rambling. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, cool. Maglock. Good constantoon afterballs. I'm thinker than you drunk I am. Yes, Mum. I'm breaking into a cop shop. Losers, weepers. People, time to get some fresh air. Come on out. You look terrible. I could just lock the door and spend the next three weeks. This lot will do for the boys at the crab. Hello, gorgeous. Come to JJ. Moi, baby, one big bad bag of guns. Sweet. Where'd you find it? Come on, bruv. Work with me here. The cop shop on the beach. Remember? Dude, you lifted from a police station? You're crazy, man. So it would appear. You told me about it. I say dumb shit all the time, yo. I, even I don't listen to me. Don't you know that place is haunted by zombies? I'd say decorated with zombies is more accurate now. Here, take your guns, you dog fool. Oh, well, thank you very much, Kibutsky. But it's only fair if I trade you for it. So, here. Hello? Who is this? Oh, shit. Is this the wrong channel? Damn it. I'm trying to contact a friend. If someone's lost, I can help. Damn it. 
somewhere over here in Monarch Studios. And trust me, you do not want to come here. Uh, uh... Been there. Know it well. Quite enjoy the zombie ambiance, if I'm honest. I think you're crazy, but I'll take any help I can get. I'm searching for the gas station set. One with the giant spider. Meet me there. <laughs> Always with the... It's me, from the radio. Wait, aren't you... Yes, I am Sarah Shepard. Yes, I am wearing my Spacebox outfit, and yes, this is a bad time! Wow. Captain Vixen. Damn that useless chunk of... Ugh. There's more coming! Be careful! Admit it. That was stupid, but also incredibly. <sighs> yeah. Impressive. Captain Vixen, I represent the people of Landinium 12. How may I be of assistance? Never expected you to actually show up. You're really going to help look for Sebastian? My people are but simple red shirts, destined to perish attempting hopeless acts of kindness. He's a skinny kid, no fighter, but he's tricky, creative. It's how he's made it this far. Problem is, I can't reach him on the radio, and his stupid Dee Dee toy keeps drawing in the zombies. That plucky beeping coming from your bag? Dee Dee 09, Space Fox's nav droid and baby robot merchandise milker. Can't stand the thing. But Sebastian loved it enough that he made a replica for conventions. I have no damn clue how to shut it up. If he doesn't get back and do something about it soon, our safe zone will be overrun. Then let the mountain come to Mohammed. I'll take Didi to Sebastian. You can clearly take care of yourself. Fine, you take Didi. Start your search in Soundstage 3. I'll keep looking out here in peace. Just don't lose that bag. It's lost enough as it is. Don't worry, Dee Dee. We'll find Seb. Just keep it down, okay? Belay the beeping, Dee Dee. Desist.
got another jump. We won't find Sebastian here. timed interjections, Dee Dee? snatchers for now. Bring DD09 over here so we can talk. I left DD09 with the IRL Captain Vixen, so where's Mrs. Shepard? And why do you have my robot? And on that note, why are you here? And also, who even are you? Well met. I'm JJ. No, not that one. Captain Vixen sent me. So the captain sent you? But I'm fine. I'm just scavenging for tools and parts. Nothing to worry about. The challenge is that Dee Dee here won't shut up. It's acting like a zomboid beacon. We need a stealth mode if possible. Oh, jeez. I really screwed up. This is beyond cringe. My dumb robot nearly got Miss Shepard killed. I can't show my face around her no more. She's, she's gonna hate me. Ensign Bastion, this is not a time for self-indulgence. Your captain requires that you restrain Dee Dee and report in. You're right. I'll fix Dee Dee 09 up and return to camp. Uh, please, take something for helping Captain Vixen today. Consider it your spoils of war, and may the Star of Volpine guide you. <laughs> Captain, Ensign Bastion has been found exploring Stage 6. He is well. Oh, I can't thank you enough for this. If you ever need to take a break, you're welcome to join us behind the big green screen. I'm keeping the area safe.
look like someone well versed in matters of the grotesque. You're no oil painting yourself, sister. Well, I can see that you're begging to ask, so I'll tell you, yes. I am an artiste, a sculptor of perceptions, of minds, of reality itself. Francesca. Sorry, I'm not in the market. NFTs is the thing now. Since the dawn of humankind, art has challenged us and elevated us. Now more than ever, it is art that will save us from our moral decay. You want to help save people, don't you? Well, that's a broad brush. Define people. Some might say that. Then go out and collect me infected flesh. You can rip it straight from any of those mindless conformists wandering around. Or perhaps you already have some to donate. When you've got enough, put it in that bucket there. Charming knack for mental imagery you got there, Francesca. One question. Why in God's name? Oh, <laughs> how can you be so obtuse? I'm creating my magnum opus, my masterwork. I am Michelangelo, and you must bring me the finest vein marble. Now, go! Madness. By his thematic. The process can begin. The sublime pain and sacred pleasure of new creative birth. Or you could paint some flowers. A sunset, maybe. Feet up by tea time. My god, we've barely begun. I need rarer, more exquisite parts. I've been listening to the inane chatter on the radio. I've heard of marvelous, monstrous beasts around the city. I must mold their fantastical corruption. You know, there is a point in every man's life where you must look at yourself in the mirror's eye and declare, tonight I'm going to neck the whole blotter. Mark this. My artistic flow is paramount. I'll place my requests on the board up there. When you bring the matter, do not interrupt me. Just drop it in the bucket. The bucket, the bucket. We can trade for my aesthetic leftovers, but as I pass you the dregs of my creativity, consider what residue of your own will you discard. Don't answer. Just let that stew for a while.
So, Rodriguez, what you hiding? Hm. Oh, a trap! With no rumble of boots. Still nothing. Rodriguez, dost thou attempt to deceive? You always do the opposite of what you're told? I wanted to come up and see the whole gang. Stupid. Well, lesson learned. The whole antisocial misanthrope routine is because... Just shut up, okay? Right now, you are sand in my grease. There's two ways this goes. You make yourself useful, or my boot propels your ass back where it came from. Quid pro quo, Rodriguez. Quid pro quo. Ah, <sighs> right. How about some genuine U.S. Army gear? Finest in the world. Or so they tell us. Then consider me quoed. We've got a deal. Then listen up. I got a hole in my defenses. Thuppets keep coming from the pits out back, and contrary to rumor, I'm particular about exposing my rear. Pit? Death pits? How do we deal with that? Fire. Burn them all. Head towards the shoreline. Ah, death pit. Lovely. As the comic books like to say. Angels rise into heaven, wings of black smoke.
quite the fire starter, aren't you? Not really. I prefer gin and tonic beside the pool. That acid gunk was a waste of time. Should have burnt them from the get-go. Must be hard, seeing your comrades burn. No, they were enemy combatants. And that's why you can't fight a conventional war. Yeah. Perhaps we should follow the science. I already got science on my team. And you should leave before you change sides. No way you're not infected. Paradigm shift. I'm immune. Immune? I heard they were looking. You might be more useful than I thought. And you? I'm headed to the Surling. Could use some cover in fire. This horde has to stay contained. I won't be leaving. But here's your paycheck. Sinister. Hello? This is Hannah again. One of the Bobcats. You there? Hannah! It's Jacob! Yes, I'm still alive. Autographs later. Rab made it back safe, yeah? Rab's back here, yeah. He's holed up in the garage, producing gross smells with zombie flesh and caustic eggs and giggling to himself. That's my boy. You're so helpful with him that I was wondering if you could go find another of my homicidal little ducklings at Monarch Studios. Let's not do ourselves down. We're zombicidal, not homicidal. But yeah, I can wait in. What's up? Appreciate it. Bozzy went to Soundstage 5 to raid some sort of cutting-edge pyrotechnic setup that a film student was raving about. Bored the rest of us to tears, but Boz got all psyched up about it. Bozzy? <laughs> what is he, uh, Labrador? Oh, sorry, sorry. Carry on. Said he was stuck last time he checked in. Sounded kind of embarrassed, which means he's probably in a lot more trouble than he's admitting. Okay, sound stage five. Got it. I'll be in touch. I have to confess, Ensign, that I'm getting lost within endless layers of contemporary entertainment metaphor. Was she talking about you? but otherwise I've come all this way for nothing. Yo, hey, you down there. Hannah sends you. Can you clear out these dead heads so we can talk? about. Hey, Hannah said to expect you. Up here. You must be Bozzy. Give me the gem, fella. This is where the FX controls are. Thing is, when I climbed up here, I didn't notice that I had half a starlet with her teeth sunk into my shin guard. She chewed through a bunch of wires trying to get at me before I finished her off. Rob, I get it. We're all lonely. Your personal life is none of my business. The obnoxion here is that I'm trying to reverse engineer the setup they have for these D-Day effects. But they're all tangled, and I've already set off one quiet onset alarm and a random blast. So now we have unwanted extras pouring in, including a big, gross, postulate fucker. 
You should have thought of that before you started romancing his girl. Okay, I I'm kidding. What's the plan? There are some motor controls in the Sanger at the top of that hill, I think. Between those and the stuff up here, we can probably make the beach a dangerous place to be for the zombies. But maybe stay up there, because I don't want to trigger something by accident and, like, blow your legs off. Noted. And great plan. Let's light them up. I think I hooked up a trigger for some mortars. Either that or smoke. Can you try one of those switches out and see if it worked? More extras coming! Stay up on that hill! yourself. The mortars on my right, on your left, they're ready. Right hand mortars, good to go when you are. when you are.
ones along the barbed wire are good to go. Careful. She was right. Stellar fucking work there. Lest we forget, Buzzy. Lest we forget. And you bought me enough time to make sense out of this spaghetti wires up here. I had hoped your full attention was on blowing shit up near me. But bygones, right? So what's the upside? New ideas and new know-how. Some of which might apply to you, in fact. I've got an idea for something to gussy up your weapons. Nice. All's peachy, that ends peachy. You okay to get back by yourself? Oh, yeah. And the Venice Canals are gonna get a lot more dangerous to deadheads as soon as I'm back there. Although the Flambre is attracted to that lifeguard hut. Okay? You can be honest with me. I'm Bert Michaels, the chief lifeguard of this strip. It's kind of my responsibility to keep people like you safe. Jolly good. Yeah. Though even I gotta admit I'm underperforming right now. Sure, it was brave of me to lead the zombies away, but uh, it meant I, <clears throat> I lost the group of stragglers I was escorting across the beach out there. There's a moderate to high probability that they're likely not absolutely and completely dead. Yeah, they gotta be, right? Well, I guess with how wild the beach is now, and without an expert like me with them... No. No, I bought them enough time. No doubt. Good. So let's go and make sure. You will? Well, that's great! That means we can split the search. I can stay here, in case they come back, of course, and you can follow their trail. Try to find someone out there. I'm sure some of them ran towards the police station's parking lot. Is this the right channel? This is Bert Michaels. If you find anyone, you can radio me on this channel to let me know. Yeah, but it's me. Keep it down. I'm trying to run silent here. Come on, people. Nothing to see here.
There's no signs of life. No one's there? Oh, but uh, I mean, that's a good thing, yeah? Must mean they made it to the stores like they planned after all. Oh, that's good. Let's not jump to conclusions, yeah? I'll go check it out. Yo, dude, there's a queue to get into the Venice kitchen, and they ain't after the daily special. You found someone? Yes! I do remember them talking about that place. I'm 100% certain. You gotta clear the area and get them out. <laughs> okay, Hunter's punted. I'm going in. That's amazing! Don't forget to tell him, Herb Michael sent you. Be honest. These people have been turned for ages. There's no one alive? No, no, no. I hoped somebody had to have survived. It's only been a few days. Oh. You'd better be there when I get back. Hey! Hey, you're, um, coming back, right? Oh, yes. You and me, we need to talk. What? You think I would run? Now? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Christ, on a biscuit! Uh! Okay, okay, well, well, I can't right now, so please hurry! Mr. Chief Lifeguard. I'm sorry. You should be. A hero commits. They stay the fucking course, then just walk out and leave you. I know, I fucked up. Spill, you've got to get past this. So I'll take confession. That group depended on me. I was their hero. When the freaks attacked, I just froze. Hid here. But someone had to have got out alive. Just one person, they just had to. Right? Right? Yeah. But that one survivor has to live with it. Look, get to the Blue Crab. It's safe there. You need time to get level. The Thick Plottens, a critic in distress, but is it motivating? Hmm. <laughs> 
on with the deer stalker? Hello? Yoo-hoo! Oh, rotten fish. Fish got Neil Bois, I guess. interest around here then he was here fine dining Thing I hear. Best not to dwell. Onward. Hello? Please be there. Hello? It's Hannah. I'm trying to reach a certain badass. You know who you are. Hello? C'est moi, bébé. Monsieur Badassari. So, who's missing this time? It's you! Thank fuck. A and, yeah, Daz hasn't checked in, and, and I'm starting to get super worried. You uh, up for rescuing another damsel in distress? Well, I don't know. I was gonna do my hair, but fuck it. The bark bomb and candles can wait. Where do I start the zombie slaughter? The Reverend Dr. Ms. Desiree likes to play with volatile chemicals and went to raid the CDC's stash on the beach. So I guess I'd start there. Right, so Monsieur Badassari is on the case. Toodle pip. Hello. Someone's having fun. Mm. 
Miss Desiree, I presume. How do you do, Miss Desiree? Which is English for hi there. Well, hi yourself. Uh, who are you? Jacob, aka Monsieur Badasseri, aka the Lone Idiot. Hannah put me on a search and rescue and thought you might be in Big Twab. What? Oh, Hannah's such a worry ward. I just got caught up in my experiments. I've met Rab and Boz already, and they were both in Big Twab. Yeah, fair. Look, long story short, I looted a grenade launcher, and I think I can make some pretty cool grenades with the stuff around here. I couldn't find a couple things on my shopping list yet, but I've got enough to test the concept. A grenade launcher? Miss Desiree, I do believe you're flirting. You know, since you're here, you could join in on the field testing fund by herding zombies into the proving ground. Uh, but, like, I haven't got the mix right on some of the chemicals, so, not gonna lie, it could be kinda dangerous. Miss, you are shameless, and I'm a sucker for a dangerous gal. Where'd you want me? Okay, west side, west side! Here we go! <laughs> the hell? Now the other rap faction. East side! East side! Careful, Des! Ooh, running kind of low on my prototype. Better make him count. North now! North! I'm not a fool, but I have learned a fuck ton. If you can take care of the dregs there, I think my original idea will work. the course these days. You mentioned a shopping list? Oh, right. Well, I came here looking for four things, really. I already got a hold of two of them, and you saw the results. I'll be picking the results out of my teeth all week. So, what else? One of the other two is... <sighs> You're gonna think I'm nuts, but it's like zombie, uh, parts. There's a weird zombie in the main dome, see? And some of them have, like, Extra goop or organs in them, and those. Whoa, whoa! I happen to be an extra goop expert, actually. Thank you very much. You are? Oh my god, we have got to share notes later. Okay, I was also looking for some mother of Satan. Miss D, we've only just met. I will have you know that I am a lady. AKA TATP, triacetone triperoxide. Can you root through the Quartermaster's documents for where it's stored while I keep looking in the main dome? Oh, of course, of course. Try what's it one triple dipper oxide. Got it.
some bedtime reading. Here we go. Try What's It of Satan. Storeroom 3. Lovely. The perfect gift for Miss Desiree. together a few more surprises for them while you were gone. So let's get this shit done. Oh, oh, there it is! The weird green one! It's the one I need because it must be electrified! Pick up! A common revelation for the acquaintances of Monsieur Madasserie. The Satan juice is in store in three. We good? Absolutely. Oh, and we should uh, call in and let Hannah know she can stop hyperventilating into a paper bag or whatever else it is she does for fun. Yeah, I suppose we should. Although the outcome was never in doubt. Hannah, c'est moi, bébé. Miss Des has been found and she's absolutely fine. Hi! I thought the radio silence meant... Ooh, fuck. I'm gonna rip a strip off her narrow ass when she gets back. She's there? She heard that? Good. Fuck. Look, you've done right by me. By all us bobcats. So, I'm gonna do right by you. I found a code for a locked box or chest somewhere around the Lotusville Mall. No way, Hannah. You're parting ways with the mystery apocalypse goodie box? I thought you were planning all up around smacking it. Ah, well, you earned it. A couple times over. I think you'll be happy with what you find. I've hijacked a scope to push the info to your phone. Lovely. It's been a pleasure, as ever. I think that's my cue to grab my loot and get back to the canals. Thanks again, though. It's been a fucking gas. And Monsieur Badasserie exits stage right with a snake hip flourish and a wing to camera. Ciao.
Amanda! I told you to stay safe in Bel Air! I know, I know, but I am so happy you're here, Bestie. Because, like, I may have possibly maybe legitimately got stuck up here when a recording went bad, and I may totally, absolutely, urgently need someone like you to help out. Should I say, I told you so? Yeah, not my finest hour. Was trying to figure out how to get online, and I couldn't resist the bright lights of the pier for a video. But for realsies, how about we save the lectures for after you get my cute little butt off this roof? Come on, let's get you down from there, and somewhere safe. Uh, maybe, but what about zombies? They are way scarier here than the ones in Bel Air. But if you turn on those dodgems, the sound might lure them out of hiding. Okay, okay, I see where this is going. Oh, and you can totally use the bumper car's electricity to fry them zombies. You'll be done in no time. Jay, you allowed her to play you, you soft idiot. Bestie, don't be mad. Look around. This is perfect and terrible. Aren't you happy you're saving me? Wouldn't it be cool to decap some heads and pop some brains out here? And I'll film it! It will totally juxtapose with this happy place vibe. I just want to thank Ocean Park for inadvertently sponsoring this video. Seeing a way 
way down here, but I got up at the weird octopus statue thingy, so I can get down there for sure. See ya in five, and we can all so together. I don't know if she's going to get me killed before she gets herself killed. stuck or is this another ruse yes baby sorta okay so maybe i drag things out a little with you providing the kind of content that could keep us trending for years oh amanda you little hey 
great! You did great! And there's no way people will think it's fake now! And in the next video, I promise I'll get your feedback first. Next episode, you are starting to take the fucking piss. Get to the lifeguard HQ. It's safe there, okay? Wow, you're actually mad. Where's your ambition? Look, you're clearly heated, so let's wrap for today. I can probably get out by myself now. But if we're going to beat all those other channels to a Squirm Lifetime Award bestie, we're gonna need some fucking cojones! Follow through commitment, yeah? What is this? This isn't your room. I know what you are. I know what you are. That makes one of us. Name's Jacob. Heard you need some help. Help? That's what she... You're here to steal just like her. Huh. Next thing you'll say is that I can trust you too. Trust no one. Who stole from you? Denise! She came in when I wasn't here, without my permission. And she stole the bag that was right underneath my bed, and, and she can't do that. That's wrong. Hey, calm your wobble. I'll help. What's your name? Luther. Cool name. Look, I'll have a chat with Denise. Sort this out, yeah? No, she wants that. She wants you to talk. Then she'll steal your teeth. And you won't even get a nickel. I'm not like her. My buddy Byron, he'll see you right. Jolly good. You stay put. Why? Why would you take me? Yeah, what? I just ran into a lovely local resident called Luther. Uh, no, you ran into a mess called Luther. That boy's on random shuffle. He said you took his bag. He's inconsolable. That bag was stinking. Ava and Ken were bitching so bad I threw it out. Hmm. Stinky bag. What was making the stink? I do not want to know. Couldn't get near it without gagging. I just tossed it down the trash chute. Look, the boy's freaking people out. I'm gonna track this bag down, see what we can do. Whatever, go knock yourself out. But if he doesn't calm down... He's going down the chute, too. Take it back in one piece. <laughs> Weeks worth of trash. Practically carrying a big bag of meat bait. Hey, wait a minute.
Denise is not going to be happy. Stinky bag. You actually... you did it? Thank you. This is... this is Byron. You guys met? Not face to face, no. Byron's a hell of a guy, eh? You know, he's... he's always got your back. You could take on anything, you know? <laughs> Best goddamn friend I ever had. Thanks for bringing him back. It's gonna be okay now. Yeah. Right, man. Yeah. Oh, I'll give you some privacy. Cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Your reward. Delightful. As promised. With all our heartfelt thanks. Yeah, bring it in, man. Fuck it. Set phases to X Fenestrate. <laughs> Hello? Don't worry, I'm genuinely charming. Same old, same old. Can't harm to nose around a bit more. Wow. Old school journalists committing to the cause. The truth will out. <laughs> Someone's alive. One for the collection? Steady. I know, right? Mum says I'm quite a catch. Nearly gave me a heart attack. You got the message. Yeah, but someone got tore up in the lobby. I know. We've been here reporting since it all started, telling truth to the people. At least until we realized no one was getting our broadcast. We thought we could survive long enough to get the story out. But you saw David. There's something in here with us. Yeah, I've got the same tingle in me socks. You should leave. The others are busy upstairs. Can you get to the basement? If you get the servers working, we've got surveillance cameras to track whatever this thing is. It's a simple plan, but I like it. Stay close, watch each other's backs. I'll be back. I'm Esther, by the way. Though you already know that. And this is Nora. Jacob. Well, Jay. 
Stay tight and whatever you hear, do not come to help. Server racks. Lovely. Boom. You've got it. The cameras are up. Okay, speak to me, Esther. Oh my god. Something's happened. You need to get to the conference room right now. Go up the stairs twice, then be ready. Nothing to see here. Esther, do you handle death in service paperwork or should I call HR? It's here with us. Hide in a cupboard. Esther! Shit! Hello, sunshine. We got business, you and I. Hello, sunshine. We got business, you and I. <laughs> what am I, a disemboweled in service? Come on, then. in picture. Headline. Area news anchor moderately impressed. Yeah, they're done. Although I should point out that I don't do mop-up work, so... <sighs> We're fine. Fuck. Without you, we'd be dead like the others. I'll lift the shutters. We need to get our things and deal with the bodies. You guys need a plan. We can't broadcast, but we can keep investigating. I'm not missing the chance of a lifetime. Heard a lot about the military evacuation on the beach. 
It's time we saw it for ourselves. Grit, that's good. You'll need it. The rides on the pier are working, by the way. Maybe see you there, then. Well, keep your ear to the ground, yeah? You too. Good to see you, bruv. Oh, it's you. Cool, that's cool. Real hero has arrived. Oh, oh. You don't look so good. No, no. Just took a few knocks. I'll be fine in the morning. For now, though, you gotta get Rita to the lifeguard HQ. She'll be safe there. Okay, but what about you? Look, I was hard on you earlier. You need help. No, thanks. I'm good. I'm kind of busy getting back something I lost out here. You wouldn't get it. What wouldn't I get? All right, fine. Just don't laugh. It's... it's my torp. It's this rescue buoy I lost. Got caught on some zombie's leg and it's ended up behind the public toilets. Along with my mojo. Shit. This is on me for tearing you down. You! You are going to escort this lady to the lifeguard HQ. I'll go get your good luck charm. This is so not cool. No. But fine, fine. Whatever ends this embarrassment faster. tingling. Actually, this does have a zing of mojo about it. Well, I think we're done here. Back to the HQ with Bert's mojo. Where's Bert? You haven't seen him? Oh no. Oh no, no. Tell me what happened. We were on our way when some zombies swarmed us. Bert told me to start running, but when I look back, he was screaming and shouting, leading them away from me, back to the shoreline. Oh, 
Fuck! This is my fault. Stay here. Uh uh. You're staying here. Watch from the windows. Where Chief Lifeguard would make his last stand. Bites. <coughs> but they sure pack a punch, don't they? I found your top. Practically glowing with mojo. Hey! <laughs> Look at that! My torp! <laughs> but I don't but I don't think it's gonna help me now. <laughs> oh god! Look, I was hard on you before. My dad, here. He didn't stick around. No, no. We're cool. You're what I'm supposed to be. I just... wish I could be. Like I used to be. <laughs> Rita, did it work? Did she get out? She's safe. You saved her, Bert. You never needed your mojo. <laughs> yeah. It worked this time. You're right. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still a hero. That's... That's really cool. Sorry. I think I need to... Close my eyes now. But <sighs> Mum, I messed up. I need you to make someone feel very at home up there, if you could.
Relieved to see you made it in one piece. And not bitten. Do you read me? It's Sarah. If you're in the area, I need some help at Monarch Studios. Meet me at my trailer by Stage 4. Hail, Captain Vixen. I'm calculating a course to Stage 4 now. First officer's log. After a successful jump into the Monarch star system, we are attempting orbital insertion near stage four. Captain, First Officer JJ. No, not that JJ. Ready to give assistance. Glad you could make it. Sorry to drag you back here, but I need to call upon your zombie fighting expertise again. Vile zomboids, scourge of the space lanes. I need to retrieve some contracts from an office in Soundstage 7. But, uh, <laughs> I know my limits. Could you clear out those God Spider sets for me? Specifically the Ruin set. And there's a real piece of work hiding in the City Streets stage. Once he's gone, I can get what I need myself. Retrieving contracts? I fear the ratings for this adventure may be disappointing. Still, I will bring these documents. Thanks, but clearing out the extras is enough. Don't take it personally. I tell you, but it's not my secret to share, you know? Set holodeck to special effects. First officer's log supplemental. After dealing with a zomboid ambush, we will use a time portal to jump back into 1970s New York. I will wear a beanie to hide my alien throne. What's of interest around here then? Lovely.
Intriguing. First officer's log, supplemental. The Zomboid Emperor is hiding. I plan to draw him out with a sweet temptation of his own minion's rotten flesh. in a trap for the Zomboid Emperor. Creative. If you want to stack the deck Jolly in your favor, good. don't be shy about using the special effects. Those zombies won't Trap's know what's set here. and baited. Terran space. Terran Federation? It'll be Terran something or other. I'm sure. Another galactic scourge dealt with. The Zomboid Emperor and his rotten scourge are vanquished. You did my crew a solid today. And me. I've been doing alright fighting these monsters one-on-one, -on -one, but... The new tricks they're pulling out? Well, we may be overstaying our welcome here. Seriously though, Sarah. You could hole up with some survivors for a while. They're out there in Bel Air and Beverly Hills. Ha! <laughs> uh, sorry, but I've got other places in mind. Unfinished business to take care of. Thanks. I can take the rest from here. You're one of those crazy types who actually enjoys going out there, aren't you? Good. I think I know where we can find a boat. Jolly good. Do tell. I was snooping around here when I came across paperwork of CDC security requesting a boat from the lifeguards. During the outbreak, no less. Seems suspicious. Why did they need their own boat unless they were up to something? Mabes yes, Mabes no. How would it help us, anyway? Because I can find no indication that the boat ever left. I feel it in my bones. That boat is still on this beach. And if you follow the paper trail, you can find it. Believe me, feeling stuff in your bones ain't all it's cracked up to be. Huh. You kids give up far too easily. If there's no boat, there's no boat. But if it's still on this beach, we can get out of Hele. Anything's worth a try. I'll check it out. Thanks. Oh yeah, it's boat time.
What's of interest around here then? Ah, oh, some kind of heist. This Cooper wanted to get something out of the quarantine zone. Cooper had an accomplice on the inside of the CDC. So Cooper traded shift patterns to get on the CDC guard rotor. Cooper was working with Dr. Huang. The main dome's the place to be. I think you've long outlived your welcome, asshole. All these brave doctors, finally avenged. Right boat, unfortunately. This ain't saving no one, nowhere. Maybe the merch is still here. <laughs> Fuck it, what am I missing? Some loot, at least. Looks like your heist went south.
This place, this dead city, she's holding on to every soul as hard as she can. So, the boat is a wreck. Just the ladies in a long line of disappointments. Hey, we get knocked down nine times and... Huh, get up ten. True. We all have to keep trying. We could all learn to be a bit more like you. Mm. Me is not all I'm cracked up to be.
blighted judgment day. You must leave. I need total focus. One less psycho naught out front today. Oh, wow. Uh, Francesca, you have brought light into all our lives, darling. Well, how does it make you feel? No, it makes me feel like making use of the holy bucket. Yes. Facing the truth of our own grotesque reality is a miraculous experience. But see, you are free. You are absolved. God, I wish I were you. Everything before today was the looking glass, but now you're finally in Wonderland. Immerse yourself, Alice. Let it enter every part of you. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? How we experienced a major seismic event just as the infected started crawling out of every manhole and overrunning the city. One strange event amongst many. I know. You're thinking, oh, we get quakes all the time. But never like these, with such localized effects. And their epicenters? Nowhere near where we'd expect them. There's more going on under the surface. I just need the data to prove it. I knew there was a request for help coming. Uh, afraid so. Some colleagues and I placed four seismometers in the sewers to gather readings as soon as we noticed. We got in through the Bel Air access tunnel not far from here. Our little field trip did not go well. I need you to collect our data. Okay, I'm in. Sorry to hear about your colleagues. We soldier on. The devices you're looking for come in special locked containers. Each one has a key. Get the data from all four and bring it back to me. The sooner, the better. The more we know, the better our chances. Righto. Be back before you can say, where's that handsome chap gone? Oh, if only I had more data. Good scientists, recording their experimental methods. Zombified seismologists, a rare breed. 
Okay, Luciana. I admit these tremors don't feel natural. That's a sensitive equipment case. Definitely not seismic coincidence now. Dangerous to work with zero visibility. Research data. The second check. Hello? What's going on here then? That distinctive sound. Ah, oh, not lovely, but wonky. Research data, the third. Check. One more to get. Another ill fated field trip. Oh. Research data, the fourth and final. At last. Whoa. Hold on.
with. was interesting. Yeah, a shitload of data. Excellent. To be honest, I doubted your chances, but you proved me wrong. You're a significant outlier. Exactly what my mom used to say. I'm afraid the whole field trip are now dead. Again. We knew what we were getting ourselves into when we chose the high-risk, high-reward world of seismology. With the data returned, the expedition was all worth it. Well, that's between you and your conscience. One thing's for certain. There's a link between this autophage and the tremors. Fascinating. Let's hope what you brought back is enough to construct a firm hypothesis. Now please, you must leave me to the data. And perhaps a little mourning the dead? Just a tad? Hmm, yeah. Can you hear that? Hey, heavy, Bestie! So it's your girl, Amanda Styles. Swear to you, this is the last time, but I've got a killer idea and you're the only one I can trust to do this right. I know, I know. Stay indoors where it's safe. I promise, once we're done, you can wrap me up, slap a bow over my mouth, and say, don't open to Lexus. <laughs> but at least come hear me out. Right and don't wait up. We only get one shot at this. Come meet me behind the bleachers on Hollywood Boulevard. Smiley face. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'm not your toy. This ain't safe. Wait, wait. Hear me out. Sure, I've been edgy and dangerous in the past, but I swear this is safe. There's all these cameras set up for the awards, right? If we get those online, we get live footage of the whole street, hands-free. You're seriously proposing a CCTV setup that we could use? Okay. That means you're cool with it, right? Then let's fucking go! Oh, but I still need to actually turn the cameras on first. Guess I have to endanger myself just one last time, huh? Don't manipulate people. But for you, I will fix the power. Knew I could count on you. I'll stick up here. Got some final boring technical stuff to set up before I launch this reality show. TGYL. We are so doing this! You gotta come out here to-
to the street. Found two big names you just have to meet. I can't believe I've fallen for this again. <laughs> you mad? Only way we're getting off the street now is if you get over here and fight our way out. We will have words, Amanda Stiles. Amanda, I know it sounds like a great idea, but believe me, it ain't. It's way more dangerous over here on the Romero stage. See you soon. <laughs> Fucking hell, Jay. You allowed yourself to get played. Again. I'm immune. But it's just her. They don't turn me. Like, yeah, duh. I have literal videos of you shrugging off bites. No shit, you're immune. Congrats, BT dubs. Amanda, what are you planning? You have no idea how far I'll go. Especially with survivors inside the Hollywood Mall there. Hashtag hint hint. No, you leave other people out of this. Wow. He really thinks so little of me, don't ya? Well, this is it. No turning back. Let's become the faces of this outbreak together. Amanda, I'm worried about you, girl. 
you think I would call you out here if you could stop me? I was bitten before you even got here. No, don't say that. You're just yanking my pants, yeah? <laughs> Never left the bleachers. <laughs> gotcha! Just needed time to record the turn. My fans are gonna see something wild. Wow, Virus blocked those two up. <laughs> Barely even recognize them. Can't leave them alive. Might hurt someone. Hold on, Mandy. I'm almost there. Glad you came back. You know what to do. Kill all the zombies. Just make sure the camera gets my best side. Amanda! Amanda! Shit, girl, what have you gone and done? Stop fucking around! Amanda! This ain't funny! Shit! Fucking shit! Amanda... Amanda dropped a note. Sick of people playing me. But Amanda did do it with style. No pun intended. I'm getting out of LA. And when I do, the world will remember you, Amanda. I swear. You guys know how I hate these serious vlogs. But this one isn't some phony apology. Yo, craziest thing. I was cleaning up the parking lot and some gunk got all caught up on my broom, tried to smack it off and boy, it goes bouncing over the wall. Word of advice, zombie gunk, don't you touch it. Oh, bet that's the stuff that turns him. Oh, I knew it, man. It's not a virus. It's like GM food. Cloning chicken, antibiotic beef. It's all brewing inside them. Doesn't really explain the infectious bit, sunshine. But I'm in the market for some of this gunk. I think I know where you can get the good stuff, yeah? The most messed up zombie, that's where. You gotta check the strongest man comp. Those roid-soaked douchebags will be gunk mines. That's an unfortunate but accurate phrasing. Yeah. And like the sewer outfall? There's been toxic waste in there for years. I mean, there's gotta be bad turkeys cooking in that oven. All the best venues, bruv. I'll check him out and bring you something from the gift shop. Yeah, yeah, you'll see him, right? GM Foods, man. Just put fresh socks on.
more bad turkeys in here. Gobble, gobble. Remember, Jay, the bigger they are. That's it. You have a rest, old lad. Sauce sweet meats. Right, tangle these lumps of gunk in Trent's face. See if he can keep his breakfast down. Trent, Brav, you were right. I bear lumps of gunk. Yeah? I knew it all along. You gotta stay natural. No GM food for me. I stay mostly vegan. Can't tempt you with a boiled blast gland and hollandaise sauce. Eh, everyone has their limits. Well, workbench is there if you need it. Just make sure you don't leave a mess. Kai will flip if someone leaves zombie lungs lying around again. As most reasonable people would. Yeah, uh, don't be that guy. All right, dudes, if we want to start using zombie guts to make some sick weapons, we gotta... Your escape was a... You ever make a bucket list? No. What would you list rather than do? Hmm. I... Damn it. I gotta ask a favor, and I hate asking favors. I must have that kind of face. So when we wised up, a lot of us wrote last letters home, even though we couldn't send them. Y you'd find them when clearing out dead lockers. Hundreds by the end. They all went in the burn bag, but I scanned them out on a memory stick first and slipped it to a gunny who was shipping out. But his ride got swarmed. All those final words just lying out there. USB sticks are tiny. There's no bodies going home. Those letters are everything. Okay, I get it. And you can't go after it? I can't jeopardize my mission. I got no illusions about surviving. I just want to know those letters got home. Sold. I'm in. Fucking A. There's comms gear in the base. You can upload them there. Comms gear? Interesting. You're honoring hundreds of brave soldiers. 
I feel so... fucking proud. I'll be rooting for you. Those letters aren't gonna send themselves, you know. Head east and you'll find the convoy. You should find a car there, too. One convoy. Now to find two tiny things in a sea of sand. Hallelujah. A key, a key. My kingdom for a key. Watch it. Hostiles to your north.
assault. Here we go. Card. Lovely. Voilà. Ooh, lovely. Right, insert memory stick. Warning, this is an unscheduled transmission. Alarm will sound. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> for cops. Rodriguez, you read me? Copy. Got a prop. Signal's being jammed. It's impossible. That's going straight up to a dedicated satellite. I'm just a shitty messenger. Finds gear in the world, my ass. Okay, get back here. Out. Roger. We'll go. Fandango. Malarkey. The city's in quarantine. Digital quarantine. I watched you out there. Never seen anything like it. You're getting out of L.A., right? Me failing is long odds. Ask my mum. Then keep the letters. Maybe take one more, too? Sure. Then that's it. I'm primed. Nothing gonna stop me now. No hints. We can play charades. Is it a book? The plague cannot leave L.A., and these walls won't hold the dead in much longer. When they breach, you'd better be a long way away. I understand. It's our sacrifices that give life meaning. All will become clear. <laughs> like glass. Now get gone. <laughs>
Whoa! How do you get out of Monarch Studios? Teleport? Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, body snatchers didn't make things easy, but we're here, and I'm happy to see you. Are you here to aid Captain Vixen in reclaiming Planet Hollywood? <laughs> Jeez, sorry, that was lame. Don't stall now, son. Keep with it. <clears throat> and where, brave cadet, is your Captain Vixen? She ordered me to stay here and guard the post while she did something at the Chinese theater. Alone. I'm just... It's like I'm just useless. Do you think she trusts me? I mean, I'm wearing frickin' cardboard armor. You may be wearing cardboard armor, but I'm wearing sunglasses. So stay here and I'll rescue our good captain. Thanks. I'm sorry I can't be more help. Wondering what you guys are doing here. Seb surfing an understandable meltdown. Oh, Sebastian. He's already doing more than enough. In fact, he gave me this idea. I didn't want to put him in danger again, though I admit I could use an extra pair of hands right now. Just a pair? <laughs> You're doing better than me. But I've got five minutes to spare. Monarch Studios was shipping marketing gear for the awards via the Metro, including a logo filter meant for one of these big spotlights. As far as I can tell, it got to the station, but no one collected it. Are you going to defrobalize the Zapper Crystals to stop the zombies? It's not about stopping them, it's about gathering survivors. Maybe even some of my Space Fox castmates. Strength in numbers. Now be careful, there's rumors of zombies down there, if you can believe it. Zombies here. Ooh, what's she planning, eh? Something tricksy. Captain, you fix the techno. I'll go burst some brains.
stop the flow of extras. some top shelf chutney. Very good, Captain. You're thinking big. Sebastian's fanboying gave me the idea. In this one episode, the crew is stranded, and Vixen rigs up a signal out of some scrap. Hopefully any other survivors nearby will have a beacon to follow. Calling the tribe? It's like this apocalyptic sci-fi story is right in itself. Going solo would make some things easier, but others harder. And staying on the run creates its own problems. Besides, here, now, feels like a Captain Vixen is needed. Especially for people like Sebastian. He finds it hard to be alone. I gotta finish up, but, uh, let him know I'll be back soon. I've worried him enough. Sure thing. Keep shooting from the hip, Captain. Where's Miss Shepard? Is she okay? She's ace in it. The Space Fox signal is lighting up the boulevard thanks to your idea. Huh? My idea? What? That's what captains do. Listen to the crew and get them through. She is the coolest, and so are you. Oh, you gotta take something as thanks for all the help. And may the star of Volpine forever guide us. Nice. Stay alert, cadet. Fuck it. You look agitated, Jimmy. Can I help? Some of the guys just walked straight out of the hotel with half our food. And they tripped the fire alarm. It's gonna go off any minute. They've got the manager's pass that we need to stop it. Okay, that's enough to get agitated about. Do we have a lead? Something about the alley next to the bean cup. I think. You gotta go find them. I I'll, I'll get Ava. Maybe she can fix the alarm before it broadcasts our location to every fucking zombie in L.A. Good plan. I'll go and track our thieves. Stay in touch. You're the one person I wish...
capacity crowd, this is not. Let's see where my socks lead me. This looks personal. Someone wanted to lure Jimmy Montana to the mega park. Hello, Mega Park, where Jimmy is supposed to walk to his due. Jimmy, it's all going well, but I wanted to ask, what the actual fuck, you lying sack of shit? You were in on it. No, it wasn't. It was, it was just talk. We didn't like how Ruben was running things. I... No time. Not interested. Nearest Burger 66 around here. Where? Up the back stairs in the plaza area. It was... part of the plan. What? Ah. Piles of collected bodies. Seen this before, haven't I, Mr. Chompy? <laughs> Mr. Chompy. We meet at last. A pass. I should get a wallet for these. Or a grocery bag. One giant bogey and talk to my goose. Could use a few more like you around here. So, Jimmy, where did scheming get us? I should have gone with him, instead of trying to help these mooks. And you'd be dead. All you had to do was speak up and we could have headed this off. It's time you wore the big hat, bruv. I should... I should go get the food. We're gonna need it. It's not the big suicide hat, it's the big leadership hat. Take Denise. You have to keep everyone alive. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But hey, I'm Jimmy Montana. 
I got this. Thanks. You're the one who goes out all over the city, right? Some call me the Lone Idiot. Got a tip for you. I heard there's some kind of military stash down in the metro. Straight to business then. Okay. How'd you hear that? From a friend. He ran with this gang, had a hideout down there, like the disused part where all the busted train cars end up. You might find something good. A friend? Well, then, it's bound to be true. And this friend's name? Diego. Right. Okay, I'll take a look. What am I doing again? Busted train cars and Diego. Train cars, jolly good. Hello, little fella. Do you still work? Take it back. You're a lovely little laptop. Speed up!
as if by magic. I mean, what are the odds? Ah, Diego. I thought she just made him up. She paused before she said it. Diego? Like she just made it up. Diego led a street art crew. Things got territorial down here. Shit. In life, artists. In death, dead artists. Sorry, boys and girls. They got in their pockets, seats. Easy. Lovely, and one of Diego's stencils. I'll take it back to Rosa. That'll get the tears flowing. <laughs> 